I'm Mark Efren. I'm a professional boxer. I've had 26 fights, 25 wins, and 19 knockouts. Look how beautiful you are. It doesn't really affect my family life, like, but obviously these days when I feel like really tired and stuff and then poppies being hard work, yeah, so it, it, it does get really that hard sometimes, yeah, but poppies are like a good girl and um, she makes me happy. Boxing's always been in my life. To that, is that, this is all I know, is boxing. And um, I can't imagine myself doing anything else. People don't see the, the hard work and dedication that a fighter has to put into his camps and stuff. They just see you shine on fight night. But it's not, it's not, it's not just that, it's, 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 it gets you down, it's hard work, boxing is really hard. Like the boxing training and inspiring and stuff. I love all that, but the, the hardest thing about boxing is the dieting, do you know what I mean? Dieting, uh, it's that, like, far off from the camp, it's all right, and then when you start coming to the end, that's when, when you get really strict and whatnot, and you, you do get a bit down and stuff, but um, yeah, that's the only thing that I, that I don't really like, the dieting. I think that would be the same for any other fighter. It's, you just got to have the dedication, you got to put the work in, yeah? You can be the most talented kid in the world, but if you're not 100% fit, then you don't need to fit a fight. Over 12 rounds, he's going to take over. I think I was born with my dad. Like my dad, he was an hard-working man. Like, you see my dad in the gym, he's, what, he's like 62, 63 now, and he still trains extremely hard. So I think I got that I got that, like, after my dad, like, like, I take a thing with the hard training and stuff. I just like, my trainers have to tell me to, to ease off sometimes because I always feel like I'm not doing enough, do you know what I mean? So, as long as I'm not overdoing it, like, I'll be fine. To be honest, like, when I, when I just first turned professional, I had just turned, just turned eight, just turned 18, I might be, yeah, just turned 18, I was, yeah. I was far fought in a big tent, outside in a tent. But, um, I remember at the time, my brother Ronnie was signed with Frank Warren and, I was fighting all over the place in these little tents and whatnot. And Ronnie was fighting at the MEA and I remember like turning up and watching him fight. I was thinking, what I like, I'd, I'd love a, I'd love, a, I'd love a taste of this. Do you know what I mean? And get on these big shows and get shown on telly and whatnot. And I'm, you know what I mean, but that that came true. You know what I mean? I've, I'm now with the same promoter that Ronnie was with, Frank Warren. And, um, loving it, yeah. I had a bit of a stop-start career because. Because of the little things outside the ring, and then, uh, ended up like ended up not fighting and stuff. So done my bit of partying when I was younger. Me, so to be honest, now like all my mates are out partying and stuff, and literally doesn't bother me the slightest. Not one bit does it bother me. Like my, my mates always say it to me, does it not bother you? Nah, not at all. I'm 100% dedicated on my boxing, and, and I want my boxing to work out for me. My new, my new trainer, Michael Jennings and Dave Jennings, very experienced. Michael's been there himself and and uh, been in some massive fights. Kel Brook, Miguel Cotto's, I mean at Madison Square Gardens. And um, I think training with Michael now and Dave, it's um, this is going to push me on now to win big titles. I want to obviously win that British and then move on to European. I want to do it properly, the proper way, in it like British. Like British and Commonwealth, and then the European, and, and then move on. Do you know what I mean? For the big, obviously, when you once you once you get to that world title, there's no like looking back. Is it? You've got to stay at that level. Any so, I, when I get to that level, I want to be right more than ready. You know what I mean? And mentally ready in the head. So yeah, hopefully one day I want to be a world champion, and then go on to then open my own boxing gym. You know, um, I'd, I'd love to open my own boxing gym in Oldham, where I'm from, because. There used to be a gym in Oldham called Oldham Boys, and uh, that was that was massive. And um, that little plot of land is actually still there. I Maybe mean, one day I could buy that plot, that bit of land there, and get that gym back up and going again. My old manager he, he ended up sitting me out of the ring and what, for whatever reason. So I ended up out of the ring for a couple of years. 
And then um, obviously one day I got I got a message off Kevin Marie saying like you're a wasted talent and um, so on like and then saying basically you should come down to my gym and um, he had a gym in in, in Clibro called the Sturk House and uh, I, I went down there and uh, I've not looked back since and just um, my, I'm buzzing I'm buzzing for Kevin messaging me that day because I, if it wasn't for Kevin I wouldn't be where I am now. I, I always thought me once, once I got beat, like that probably be the end of it for me. Like and like I've sport Rebecca Ball, they have ever lost in like in the future. Like and to be honest, when I got beat off Williams, it didn't bother me anywhere near where I thought it, like what I don't I don't know. Just so since I got beat, I've just never looked back. Like just, I've picked up a lot of experience from that fight. Liam Williams is a class act, really good fighter, and. Um, and good luck to him, do you know what I mean, with the rest of his future. But yeah, like, you can't buy experience. And um, in that fight, I picked up a lot of experience. And it, I went 10 rounds with, with Liam, and um, it was in like a, a packed out arena, MEN arena. When I walked out in the MEN arena, I remember they were like, don't know, they just roared, like, I was like, wow, I just remember looking around to, to everyone and thinking, like, wow. And then and that zapped me a bit, that, like, but I've been there now and I've experienced it. and. I'm ready for it next time. I got straight back in the gym after that loss, and then I had a, I had a little um, a little warm up fight at Oldham Sports Centre, and like I just got I just got straight back in the gym after that loss, and then I was fighting again like ten weeks later. It might sound stupid me saying they bother me, but nah, they, they, they didn't get me down. Or anything. Mindset at the minute is in it's in much a better space than what it was when when I had that William the Williams fight the first time. Yeah, definitely. If I can fight for a world title, that's probably my dream. First of all, I'd like to fight in all my flakes, get, you know what I mean, get that packed. I know, I know for a fact I'd be able to fill that. You know what I mean, like, where I'm from, it's like, it's, it's, like, like, it's, it's, it's like a small town, but, you know what I mean? Like, I can know everybody where I'm from. I literally know everyone, and I think I'd be able to fill, I'd be able to fill them, yeah.